it's Josephine from The Point Shop. We just concluded the 2021 Point Shop model search. We decided to use Kalia as our model to show you different brands. Kalia is actually not a very easy fit. She can't wear a lot of different types of point shoes, even though she has one of the most beautiful feet. She has a very high profile, high arch, lots of range of motion, and that generally leads to a lot of twisting in point shoes. I wanted to send Kalia home with five different brands so that she can try them all on before she goes off to summer and Intensive. The first shoe that we tried on was the Sodantia Electra. When we first tried on the shoe, I did it without the shank. Do you feel like you're sinking? No. I don't feel like I'm sinking at all. And the fact that there's no shank in here and you're still able to pull yourself up, that's really good. So now this is with the shank. Can you tell the difference? It feels a little bit different, but not a ton. Really? Yeah. That's insane. Even after I put the shank in, she said it almost feels the same, which means that she's using most of her foot muscles to keep her up there instead of relying on the shoe. There was minimal twisting because I took toe pads off. The wings on this one came up just high enough so that it was covering her feet really well. That was the thing that I was mainly focusing on to make sure that she had ample room to go around her bunion area but I wish it was slightly less tapered so that she had a little bit more room for her metatarsals here. Second shoe that I fitted her in is the Capizio Ava. I usually have tighter shoes because yeah. the heel always disappears. This is a very low heel. So this part right here actually I love. This one's actually twisting less than the Electra. In my opinion, this part fit perfectly and she looked really stable in these. The lower heel looked great on her, but I could see that there might be problems having that heel slip off during class. Even though it was really pretty, sometimes the prettiest thing is not the most functional. I think she looked really stable. It was just a little soft, so she was balancing at the top of the platform instead of right at the center. The third pair of point shoes that we tried on was the Russian Point Brava. This is the widest in this shoe. Is it hurting anymore? It's starting to feel a little bit of pressure on the pinky toe, yeah. like on the tip more. Uh -huh. There was a little bit more twisting in this shoe than the other ones. I thought she looked the most stable in this. Even though the heel was a little bit more secure, it looked a bit more baggy. It's really tough with Kalia's type of foot because she shrinks half a size when she goes up on point. A lot of professionals that have feet like hers, they'll wear their shoes closer to when they're on point rather than when they're on flat. With dancers in training, we typically fit them for the length that they are when they're standing flat rather than when they're on point because we don't want to do additional damage. The fourth shoe that we tried on was a free. This shoe is one of my favorite shoes to watch on stage. It looks like a sock. So the studio will probably last you the longest. I think with free too, it just needs to be a little bit wider, but this is actually a lot prettier on the heel. I wish that Freed had a slightly wider box because you can see that when she goes up on point, she was bubbling out of the side and that typically means that it's just a little bit narrow. So I didn't want her to feel like she was being crushed. If it had a little bit more of a throat, then I think all of her joints would have sat a little bit more comfortably. And I saved this one for last because this is the brand that Kalia's already in. We tried the Nikolai. So we actually tried on the new Stream Point. Oh yeah, this one's soft. <laughs> yeah, this one's really soft but I think a lot of tapered shoes are twisting more on you. I think this is too soft, but I like this shape better. The new stream point is a bit wider and the shoe was a bit softer. For shows, for class, for rehearsal, for auditions, for things that you want a little bit more movement, I thought the stream point looked beautiful on her. It's very interesting to see the same dancer in different brands because every brand is made on a different last. It's made with different people. It's made with different materials. I think it's important for dancers to continue to explore different brands and different sizes to see what feels better. What worked for you six months ago may not work for you now. So if you want to just check it out and try different brands, then you can make an appointment just to see if something else works even better for you.